Jubilee Beacon. I've taken loads of pictures of this before, don't forget. The Jubilee Beacon, 1881 to 18... Is it 57? Something like that, anyway. And there's a plaque here to commemorate the 90th birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, 11th June 2016. Yeah, I would have got that one. Yeah, I would have, um, I would have got this one. Yeah, so you've got all the mounds and bumps. And over there you've got the motorway. Right over there, look, the M5 going to the southwest, down to Bridgewater, Taunton, Exeter. Then north, you go to Bristol. It's quite slow on one side, doesn't it? And loads and loads of lorries. Over there, we've got Hinkley Point, right over there. It's in the mist, you can't see it very well. They had a fire there on Saturday. Electrical. Something electrical. There's the, one of the biggest cranes in the world, or Europe. Used to lower part of the inside of the dome and the domes. That great big crane there. I watched a documentary last week all about it. Massive. What's this going on there? There's Red Knoll down there, an elongated village, really. It's got the Red Pub, well, the Red Cow Pub. So I've got it on video. I'm at um, the Queen's Golden Jubilee in 2002 here. It's got uh, all the distances. Mendip Hills, look. Quantock's behind me. Um, Crook Peak, straight across seven miles. I was up that less than a week ago. Cheddar Gorge, ten miles. Over there. That's Cheddar Gorge. I was up there the day before yesterday taking pictures of the gorge on one of my circular walks from Cheddar. There's the lake, the reservoir, I mean. And you've got Glastonbury. Glastonbury is 21 miles. I'll just get a picture, it might come out all right. Glastonbury tour. Are you going to come out today? Where are you? Still very, very misty. The, the Vale of Avalon is quite polluted actually. Quite polluted. You see the smog, that's smog. That is smog. That is trouble. This motorway kicks up a lot of smog, you know. It goes up there. Cheddar gets it. You've got all the Somerset levels all over here. Bridgewater is over that way. Quantock Hills all over there. Hinkley Point. Then you go all the way up to there to Minehead, Porlock. And I walked all that coast last year. I've done it... I did more last year. I went into Exmoor to Lynmouth and the uh, something of the the rocks. Um, I, I went there. So here we go, folks. Just going to take some photos now.
over and out. Right then, I'm just going to do a little video as I walk along this path here. I've already pointed out all the features, Crook's Peak, the Mendip Hills, um, you've got all the village, all the walks I do over there near Hutton Wood and all that sort of thing, Roman Road, Western Supermare over there, um, Glastonbury Tour. This is all, this is all flat Somerset. And that's the Bristol Channel out there that leads to the Atlantic Ocean. There's a man with binoculars, so he's been up here quite a while. I saw him before he even got up on the knoll from a distance. So I'm just going to do a little video. I'm not going to go, I was going to go on that um, hill, but he's lurking there, so I'm not going to bother. There is, fortunately, there is a man sat down um, I spoke to earlier. He's sort of having a lunch break or something. Who knows what they get up to up here. Yeah, because at Easter they put three crosses up over there. They put three crosses there to for the celebrate East, remember Easter. Um, and you can see those crosses for miles. They're really big. Anyone coming down the motorway can see them. But this would have had a settlement here. <laughs> really good defensive position. Views everywhere. Not easy to just run up the hill with a sword, is it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I don't know when it was last inhabited. I've never really looked it all up, or if I did, I've totally forgotten everything, which seems to happen a lot now. There's so much to remember. You know, I mean, I'm doing all my family tree stuff as well, see, so... I've got a load of videos. I managed to get them all on disc, uh, non-WMV. Uh, I've started a WMV one for the row is it not the row barrow, the um, Winscombe walk. I'd already done the row barrow one, I put it straight to WMV, I didn't even go to non-W. Um, it hasn't been put on anywhere yet, but, uh, or I might have, I might have even put it on um, YouTube, that one. But uh, there'll be three to put on. Um, after today, three to put on, and I've run out of discs as well, so I just have to hope my computer doesn't pack up. But at the moment, everything's saved to disc, so nothing should really be lost. Yeah, so I'm, it's, it's a bit disturbing when you think um, there's somebody sat there all the time in a commanding position. So there I've got the Jubilee Stone there. It goes back to the 18th century with Queen Victoria. And then we've got the, another small round one there, Elizabeth II, remembered again with lovely views. And um, they have beacons lit up here on special occasions they probably they might have done for the Queen's birthday I'm not sure I don't know if anyone was doing anything because of the Covid in theory I used to do about four churches on this walk because I start off at Barrow then I go to St Michael's then I go to this one down here at um, East Brent with the pointed spire. Be interesting to see if that one's open, won't it? I did a good video inside there a few years back now. There was also a, like a professional team in there at the same time. Uh, they didn't mind me wandering about. Well, I think they did really, but um, there was lots of doors open. I was able to get in and see a lot of stuff. Now straight down the bottom there we've got Limpsham Church which I am heading for because it's Limpsham where I will be getting the number 20 bus back to Western Supermare. Uh, I haven't been in that one for a while either. 
usually I am absolutely tired out by the time I get there and I tend to just pass it. Um, I'm going to be looking out for cows now. I can't see any down there. Um, that bloke, he's, he's, he's got his binoculars. He's watching Joe all the time. I w would have walked round again, but I can't be bothered now. I don't like it when there's like, people lurking. There's some people entering that field, but I don't know what that is. That looks like a cow with a calf. They've got two dogs. So it's best not to go near them. Got a whole field to themselves. There must be more of a herd in there. Um, I'll be looking for another way down. I'll be looking for another way down. Yeah, that bloke's just out of view now. So I can turn round. He's been moving around. Well, I mean, he can. You know, he's perfectly entitled to. Right, I'm just going to turn off a minute, take some photos, and then I'll come back on again when I get a bit down a bit. Um, I'm going to avoid that field, although that field probably opens up into all these others. we just see how we go. Over and out. I can't see a main herd, but they could all be sheltering in the trees, you see. Even those trees there. Uh, ah, actually, I've just seen a herd in that field. Um... I'm, I'm just trying to plan my route really there's a way that way let me have a look there's cows in there and I reckon I'm not sure if they can get in that other field we'll have to see we'll have to assess when we get down there whether I go down there across that no that's Yes, I can go in that field because there's a... We'll see when we get down. Over and out a minute. 